The court is now back in session. Reprise de l'audience. We would like to now hand over to Judge Cartwright. La parole est donnée à la juge Cartwright. Il pourra continuer d'interroger les experts. Yes, thank you, President. Merci, uh, le at the end of the uh, part of my examination that concerned your physical assessment of uh, Nguyen Chia, uh, you made some recommendations that would improve, that might improve his health and his comfort. Uh, and you have also just uh, clarified that he does not currently suffer from any mental illness, nor does he have uh, an unusual degree of cognitive impairment uh, for someone of his age. Can you just summarize any remaining matters that uh, form your conclusions, please? Les autres éléments sur lesquels vous vous êtes appuyé pour tirer vos conclusions. The, the only remaining matter was that we felt both on physical and uh, mental health grounds that um, there was nothing in our opinion, uh, there were no problems in our opinion that would affect his ability to exercise uh, the capacities outlined in the Struga case in relation to his uh, fitness to plead and stand trial. And uh, in your conclusions, you repeat the concerns about reading difficulties uh, and also your findings that he has no significant concentration or attention problems. Uh, can you uh, summarize, please, your view of his ability uh, to uh, concentrate during uh, a normal session which lasts about 90 minutes, as you have uh, indicated? d'audience de 90 so minutes that there were no problems, significant problems pour nous, in uh, attention or concentration ou de uh, if the um, length of time si is la durée uh, 90 des minutes. Um, est de two of our interviews lasted around two hours de and de nos uh, there were no ont duré obvious problems deux heures, in attention and concentration during those interviews. Thank you. De concentration no. <coughs> Sorry, I think, I think Professor Campbell has something to add. Je pense que le professeur Campbell a quelque chose à dire. I'm just going to comment in professeur relationship Campbell. to his physical frailty. Sur sa fragilité physique. It's very important that he be maintained as active as possible, physical activity. Actif That's both to maintain his physical reserves. Pour maintenir ses and there's reserves also physique. some evidence that physical activity maintains cognitive function as well. Tendant à montrer mm. que l'activité physique maintient Thank aussi you. les fonctions cognitives. Uh, are there any matters La that either of you would wish to comment Merci. on that I have not touched on in my summarizing of your uh, report prepared for this hearing. Not from my point of view, I think it's been very comprehensively covered. Thank you. No, no. Thank you. Uh, President, that concludes um, the questions that I wish to put to the experts, uh, at least for the moment. Thank you. The President, thank you, Judge Cartwright. Do other judges Les of the bench wish to put questions, questions to the experts? Experts. I know that there is no such question. Je now, the Chamber would like to hand over to counsels for Mr. Nguyen to put some questions to the experts, if you would wish to do so. Pour ces questions éventuelles aux experts. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Your Honours. Good morning, Professor Campbell. Good Merci, morning, Dr. Fazel. Um, it seems that um, most observations that you have made uh, today and earlier in your report are in conformity with our own observations of our client. However, we do have a few additional questions uh, to put to you. Um, the first subject I would like to speak to you about is um, the degree of fatigueness caused um, by the transport 
of Nuanchia from the prison cell to the holding cell. Degree de fatigue que um, Nuanchia, alors qu'il se déplace du centre de détention à la cellule to, de to worry, détention temporaire. Uh, Et c'est cette fatigue qui inquiète notre client. And le plus. Um, I have noticed that you haven't uh, examined Nuanchia after such a uh, transport from the prison cell to the holding cell. Uh, could you elaborate a little bit more on the degree of fatigue and his ability after that to actively participate du degré de fatigue que from the holding cell and listen to the procedures? Et de sa capacité à suivre l'audience après s'être déplacé du centre de détention à la cellule de détention temporaire. As Campbell, even everyday tasks leave him tired. Our suggestion is that the move is made 15 to 30 minutes before the court session starts, which would give him ample opportunity to recover. Okay. Um, but my question was rather whether you should have examined him also after uh, an effort equivalent to such transfer to really be able to observe properly the effects of such a transfer. Pour pouvoir bien mesurer l'impact. I really don't réponse. think that would make any difference to the conclusions. We did see him with, after some physical activity, but the physical activity is him shifting to a stretcher and then being transferred across here on a stretcher. So I do not feel the degree of physical activity is particularly great. Thank you. Uh, for answering this question, uh, my, my second question, and this is sort of a follow-up question, question on, 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 this, on this subject, is uh, the degree of, cap um, of his capacity to uh, concentrate Sa all day. À se um, toute la obviously, I'm not a medical uh, uh, expert, but I, I presume there is a difference between uh, on the one hand, Je your face-to-face uh, -face, uh, examination Un uh, tête -à -tête, direct examination of Nima Chia during a few hours. Réalisé, um, tête -à -tête on, and on the other hand, heures, part, et on, the, part, the first hand requiring him to active, actively participate and answer your questions. Que and on the other hand, the passive participation Plutôt in a holding part, cell, uh, uh, like just listening pour to witness et uh, part, giving part, testimony all day. There might be a, a difference in uh, the capacity to concentrate in, 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 in various circumstances. circumstances. Could you please elaborate on that? Um, we'll, we, we will both comment on that question. Um, my own view is that the um, uh, active uh, what you describe as a more active uh, participation, um, which uh, was during our interviews in which he answered questions, my own view is that um, requires a higher level of concentration than um, what, what, what you describe as a passive um, uh, um, experience of listening to witnesses and, and, uh, and you know, making possibly notes uh, mentally or in, uh, otherwise about what witnesses say. So um, I think that uh, all we can do is um, try and um, uh, draw on, on what we assessed and then um, try and think about how that would affect his capacity during a, um, a day-long court uh, procedure or process. And our view is that um, because he, he concentrated quite well during these active interviews, which uh, two of them were on the same day, one was in the morning, followed by uh, another one in the afternoon of the same day, that um, that, that was a, a good sign, that um, a, a clear sign to us that uh, he was able to concentrate all day um, in what, what I think is a less demanding task of, of listening to um, the, 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 the court process. Professor Campbell. Yes, I would certainly agree with that. Certainly when one is passive in a procedure, it is much easier for one's mind to wander. 
And that occurs irrespective of one's mental state. It occurs with anyone. It happens to me all the time. 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 have touched upon Dans uh, the, the, the possibility, the technical possibility nous avions évoqué to have a, possibilité uh, as an alternative to have technique. a video link stored from his prison cell uh, so de as to, to give les the possibility to he doesn't feel able detention. to move from his prison cell to the holding cell to be able to listen si uh, to the proceedings from his, de, uh, from his prison cell. De centre de à la de Does your investigation uh, de les make you conclude depuis. that that could be a, a, a proper Dans alternative votre evaluation. for him to be actively participating in this proceedings? It is a possibility, but we've not been convinced about the necessity of it. We would also have the disadvantage that he would be further away from you yourself, his defence counsel, and more difficult to interact. The inconvenient is that he would be even further away from you, his team of defence, and that would make his interactions with the defence more difficult. Okay, thank you for answering that question. I'm moving on to a completely different subject. That is his short-term memory. La mémoire à court terme. Um, is it possible that during possible the four or five weeks period of his acute bronchitis, uh, his short-term memory was um, substantially affected? De bronchite aiguë, cela a-t-il eu une incidence sur sa mémoire à court terme? Our impression from the, one of the people who was looking after him was that when he was acutely ill with his bronchitis, he had an episode of delirium. Now, delirium is a limited period of confusion, and once the acute illness is settled, the delirium normally clears. And our understanding of it is that the delirium cleared. So there's no permanent effect from that. Le délirium a, a disparu. Mm. Another question in relation to the short-term memory. Question. Une autre question sur la mémoire. As you are aware, specifically the National Council and, and the case manager in this Comme case savez, have been speaking to Nguyen Chi uh, in the last five and a half years, almost daily. Suive, uh, on discute and, avec Nguyen Chi depuis. Um, it is their observation that there has de been a decline uh, et leur observation, in qu'il y a eu memory. Also. Uh, um, so de sa not only during the acute bronchitis Donc, period, but also before. Où il de bronchite, mais aussi to give avant. you one example, he, he would continuously ask the, the case il manager you know, souvent, time and time dossier. again about the court schedule or the le, same day. Des um, dans une même have you been able to really extensively and properly investigate uh, his decline in short-term memory vous avez within these Évaluer de façon exhaustive la dégradation de sa mémoire à court terme pendant les trois entretiens que vous avez réalisés. Well, I think um, it's not inconsistent with our findings because um, yeah, there is an aging process also, and with age, memory declines very, very gradually. Um, if there's a, an illness like dementia, it declines much more rapidly. Um, so our view would be that um, he has a normal aging process where you would expect some decline in short-term memory. Um, what our assessment focused on was whether that was uh, abnormal, whether it reached a degree of severity that you would call it dementia or early dementia. And you know, our view was that it hadn't, it, it wasn't uh, at a level that was severe or you would be clinically worried or you would even call it early dementia. Um, it was our view that it was a normal aging process and therefore his, uh, his memory um, will decline very gradually and it will continue to, as you would expect, any normal 86-year-old um, man. Thank you. 
Thank you. Um, another question I have is um, in relation to the four or five weeks period question. of his acute bronchitis when Toujours he was in hospital. Four or five semaines où il souffrait de bronchite et um, était hospitalisé. At one point, or maybe at, 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 at two or three points even. Uh, during this acute, acute Deux bronchitis, ou trois fois pendant cette période de bronchite, was thinking, seriously thinking that he was going to die. Cru très sérieusement qu'il allait um, mourir. Not only did he say that in speech to his uh, direct family, at sa, one point he also famille. called upon his family to gather uh, around him, fois, il a même so uh, to enable sa him to say goodbye to his family. Pour qu'il uh, puisse venir à son um, chevet afin qu'il puisse leur dire adieu. I won't go into detail on all the other things that he has said, but it, 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 it seemed that during that period he really dit. felt Mais il that que dans the end was there. À cette, à ce, dans but ces he il has que la fin uh, fortunately so. Bien heureusement, but il s'est rétabli. Would it be possible that this experience of this mm. I might call near death experience Cette experience has any lasting impact on his mental health in the in the next uh, Je period, or is it something that is really de la mort pour confined to the de delirium des séquelles that he might have been in cela est est-il limité simplement à l'épisode de délire is confined to the period of his illness he was qu'il subissait Problem, the trouble with Campbell. breathlessness and, uh, that maladie, can sometimes bring a sense of impending doom, et cela peut but uh, he certainly gave no indication of it when we saw him. Une mort imminente, mais il ne semblait pas le croire lorsque nous l'avons rencontré. Dr. Faisal, my, uh, my last question would be following up one of the last things you said before the break. You said that you you didn't have any specific recommendations. However, vous avez dit avant la pause que vous n'avez pas de recommandations. And obviously, I'm curious why you paused. Vous n'avez pas vraiment de recommandations, mais vous avez marqué une pause. Et j'étais curieux de savoir pourquoi vous avez marqué cette pause. To add the words which were intended after the Vous avez dit néanmoins, puis vous avez marqué une pause. Et j'aimerais savoir si vous pouviez me dire à quoi vous pensiez. Yes, um, they were, they were exactly the things that Professor Campbell said after the break, which is that the um, physical exercise will have a beneficial effect on slowing down any age-related cognitive changes. So I, I paused because it was um, an area that I thought Professor Campbell should comment on, um, um, but, but that was the... the uh, so it's 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 broadly speaking a recommendation La which does impact on mental health, but it's not specific Ou mental health recommendation. Touche more La santé recommendation mentale, pas de sur uh, for physical health, which has some beneficial effects on mental health, in at least slowing down the rate of decline. De réduire, uh, la vitesse à laquelle, uh, la dégradation. Mr. President, I have finished my Maître questions. Coppel. My national uh, colleague would like to question. have the floor. Mon confrère aime répondre à la parole. Some group on Savnaka. Council Son Arun. Maître Son Arun. Very good morning, Mr. President bonjour, and Your Honours. And Madame good Monsieur morning Lesuge, to you. Et bonjour. The experts. experts. I am Son Arun, counsel for Son Arun, Mr. Mouchi, along with my colleague who already put a few questions Mon to you. Vous a déjà posé quelques questions. I have a few questions ai aussi. for you. When you administer the test, during the two days period on three occasions as you indicated Vous avez did des you tests pendant vos trois entretiens. also administer your tests aiming at other areas other than putting questions concerning his des past tests pour évaluer experiences à lui poser des questions I sur am son passé. not a professional or medical doctor as an old-aged person. People tend to oui. remember their paths very well. Je sais que les âgées I ont also à bien se souvenir de leur passé. conduct some tests 
I asked him aussi, some questions. Des tests, euh, de Three minutes or five minutes later, je I repeated the questions and he never remembered them. Have you tard, ever pas. administered such tests to see whether fait, his fait short chose de memory is still intact? Pour voir Yes, we did. So we Fraser. asked him um, to recall um, three objects de se after de trois a period of some minutes au bout de uh, on two consecutive days. Et nous fait and um, deux fois. He, he did well on the, those tests. Il um, a tenu un bon score. Uh, and also, it was our impression also, uh, that on the basis of our clinical interviews um, that he um, had a good memory of um, short-term events. Clinique, so, for example, he um, would refer us back to exemple, um, points he had made earlier. Il he would, um, des, um, in the immediate short-term memory, he remembered our questions mm. even if they were long. Il se um, même si elles long. So there were various pieces of evidence donc, that came together that suggested to us um, preservation of short-term memory. One issue, of course, de la à court terme. which um, might explain why it differs um, when different people ask him questions is, is um, his, his mind does, will naturally wonder. He may not be um, um, aware that, um, um, you know, a question is going to be, um, he, he's going to be asked about something again. Um, and it's, it's common if, if you're not interested in, in a topic or in, a, um, in something particular that you, you don't remember it. And I think that is uh, an experience that uh, anyone would have. That, um, uh, something that's not of particular interest to them, they will forget. Um, no, I think that's covered very well. Our impression was in asking both issues of long-term memory and short-term memory that he managed both short and long-term memory very satisfactorily. Question. Question. Regarding his physical fitness, have you obtained any documents physique. telling you that uh, he fell down in the bathroom before he was admitted to the hospital and that incident alone also took the toll on his deteriorating health condition and as my colleague just reiterated that he on one occasion called his relatives to be Near his convoqué sa famille une fois so that pour qu'il vienne à son chevet have you all obtained such information yes we're certainly aware that he's very unsteady on his feet oui, and that's mainly because he's been off his feet debout, for so long he's been, been lying on his bed <coughs> when he stands he has very great difficulty finding his balance there, it's not because of any brain problem, it's because he's been lying flat on his back for so long. He has a condition which has been called water skiers syndrome, where he leans backwards rather than stands upright. And that can only be corrected by a process whereby he's got back on his feet by someone qualified in physical rehabilitation. Pour qu'il puisse retrouver son équilibre debout, il faudrait que ce soit avec l'aide d'un professionnel. Council, thank you 
professor, so I have see. a few more questions. Before he fell down, fell over, he his health condition was not that bad. Questions. Because Mais he could avant qu'il tombe, attend the son proceedings de santé in the courtroom bon, il aux every now and courtois. then. But after that, and again, I'm not a doctor, but my observation is that his health médecin, is worsening by uh, in the aftermath of that incident. Suite à sa chute, and son état de santé after that, I looked at him and inspected his waist and I could see bruises chute, j'ai vu qu'il and avait I don't know whether you also uh, included that assessment in your report Vous have you pas parlé dans votre uh, examined his physical condition at that time? Yes, I did. There's no evidence of any remaining damage from that fall that he had. It certainly would have affected his confidence with his standing and walking. And when you're not confident standing and you do feel dizzy and you feel more unsteady, and that's the probable consequence of the fall. But there's no evidence of any physical damage, no bruising remaining, no evidence of any fracture. There's no evidence of any brain damage from his fall. Council. Bruises or the damages from that incident remained, and I do not agree with les hématomes your et account. Les diff- et les, enfin, il existe Secondly, les séquelles de cette I chute, encore aujourd'hui, je ne suis pas d'accord avec am vous. Of an opinion that and I feel that uh, after visiting him at the detention facility and what he responded to Après us lui avoir rendu visite au centre de détention et he has some sur la base des réponses qu'il nous a donné je suis d'avis qu'il nous a dit avoir des troubles lombaires it is more frequent vertige. that we hear his complaints about this do you beaucoup. think that your findings Correspondent with what I just indicated. Vos conclusions. No, I examined him, dressed him to examine him, and found no evidence of bruising. I examined his back. His back is largely unchanged. He has long-standing degenerative change in his back, and that may be exacerbated by a fall. But there is no evidence of any recent damage there. Council, all my questions for both of you were put uh, because I or we are very concerned that uh, Nguyen Chia would not be able to return to the courtroom meaningfully, fully, because if he suffers from mental and physical difficulties, uh, this makes his concentration difficult and counsels for him uh, are very concerned, nous, as ses always. Sommes très préoccupés. Le président. The president. Mr. Experts, could you please hold on, oui, co-prosecutor, you may now proceed. Uh, thank Accusation. you, Mr. President. Uh, le procureur. Merci, let me just Monsieur make a brief objection Vous that uh, we would request uh, that counsel be reminded Nous that he is not here to provide his own opinions or observations. Uh, rather, he is here to ask questions to the doctors. Uh, on a number of occasions, we've heard attempted testimony and opinions by counsel, and I would simply ask that his questions be phrased, not be phrased, so that he is provide, attempting to provide evidence to the court. Je demanderai donc à la chambre de rappeler à Maître Sonaroun qu'il est là pour poser des questions et pas euh, déposer aux nouveaux experts. 
J'aimerais répondre. The last time Mr. Nunji was admitted to the hospital, La I fois remember que having made uh, a submission to the chamber to ask the chamber that uh, the treating physicians be summoned uh, to give testimonies before the chamber because counsel would only obtain the medical report on a daily basis just piece of writing, and that would not be uh, sufficient, but the application was rejected uh, by the chamber, and that the treating physicians were not allowed to be here Et in the courtroom to tell everything about the physical condition of, or mental condition of my client, client. our client. Uh, at this moment, we do not even know whether he is Alors, genuinely je nous ne sommes pas en mesure de savoir trial. si notre client est That's apte à être jugé. I put, uh, these Et c'est justement pourquoi to the experts, uh, je pose to help les questions que j'ai posées find aux experts pour en savoir plus I would proceed et obtenir des Sinon, je the president ferai autre chose. The objection Le président is sustained. La Chambre retient l'objection not Nous to présent, give your own testimonies. You are here vous to put que vous ne, put la questions de vous for the experts, des questions aux experts on behalf of your client. Experts are instructed not to respond to that question and counsel is Les advised to à la put a few more que other questions Maître. and that uh, you are refrained from voicing your opinion rather than putting Veuillez the passer questions. à d'autres questions, éviter de mettre vos opinions Thank you, personnelles. Mr. President, Merci, Monsieur le Président, Merci, Monsieur le Président, de ce rappel. I have read the report filed by both experts and I also listened to the explanation by or, uh, the responses by both experts to the questions my colleague put questions and I feel that uh, I am ambivalent uh, as to whether the responses uh, are sufficient uh, je ne sais pas si ces réponses sont, sont no suffisantes, mais je n'ai pas de questions à poser. Je vous remercie donc, euh, Monsieur le Président, mais je vous remercie juste pour vous donner la parole. Le Président, like merci Maître. Nous laissons à présent la parole à l'accusation au l'interrogatoire des experts. Le coprocureur national. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Good morning, Your Honours. Bonjour, good morning to all parties present. Bonjour à toutes les parties ici présentes. And good morning to the two professors, Professor John Campbell and Dr. Au professeur Sina John Fazel. Campbell et au Dr. Sina Fazel. My first question to you, I have uh, examined question. your report submitted to the uh, de votre trial rapport chamber on the 20th of March 2013. Daté du 20 mars Particularly paragraph 10 of your report. Le you provide that uh, Mr. Nguyen Chia has recently been admitted to a hospital a with acute bronchitis. Aiguë. And in that same report, it says uh, that there is no Ailleurs residual signs of chest infection. Vous dites My question to you, experts, what are the causes or underlying causes of Selon acute vous, bronchitis? Uh, can you please uh, bronchite distinguish between the acute bronchitis and the uh, chronic bronchite bronchitis? Et une bronchite chronique. Acute bronchitis is an acute infection of the respiratory aiguë, tract, the upper respiratory tract. Infection commonly follows from the viral illness, and the bacteria follow on the viral infection. 
and normally requires treatment with antibiotics. The person runs a fever, la may feel a short of breath, fièvre, coughs up purulent sputum, elle and as I said, it resolves with dis, antibiotics. Le Chronic bronchitis occurs in those who smoke, ceux qui ont fumé, and it's due to chronic low-grade inflammation of the respiratory tree. And people with chronic bronchitis are prone to get attacks of acute on bronchitis on top of this. So the chronic bronchitis does not resolve fully. It's a chronic ongoing infection. And there's no evidence of that with no one cheer. Et il n'y a aucun signe de cela chez no cheer. Thank you. Le coprocureur national. Merci. Can you enlighten the court as to whether Mr. Uh, Nguyen Chia is recovering from this acute bronchitis? When we saw him, he appeared fully recovered as far as his chest was concerned. As I've said, any acute illness in someone as frail as Nguyen Chia pour quelqu'un qui est fragile comme Nonchea, can leave him with residual overall weakness, which requires a time to resolve. Une certaine faiblesse généralisée qui ne s'estompe qu'avec le temps. Thank you. Question. Merci. If we um, see the uh, overall weather condition uh, uh, in Cambodia, particularly sometime Cambodge, around December. De December is the uh, one of the coolest months uh, of uh, the year in Cambodia. Do you think that uh, climate has au anything décembre, to do with the, uh, uh, the uh, 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 health condition of Mr. Nguyen particularly the acute bronchitis that he uh, has been suffering? A hmm. Réponse. I should imagine cool and cool in Phnom Penh is not all that cool. What sort of temperature are you talking about? À Phnom Penh, eh bien, de quelle température parlez-vous? Thirty. Thirty. Well, uh, Professor, if we see in Cambodia, uh, particularly in Phnom Penh, uh, December is the coolest month of the year compared to other months uh, throughout the year. And generally, uh, for old age people, uh, have uh, certain problems when uh, the uh, climate change or certain uh, or the uh, weather change. En cas de and people at noon year age uh, might uh, be prone à to de uh, bronchitis uh, on est when the weather gets cooler than bronchite usual. Lorsque le temps se rafraîchit. I can't Réponse. comment on that in Cambodia. I think probably more important is to Cambodge. ensure that he does not Plus get influenza, for example, that he is vaccinated for, la la for influenza, en en soit du and that if he does show any signs of any si chest infection, then it is treated promptly with antibiotics. Il faut promptement lui administrer les antibiotiques. Thank you. Le coprocureur. Merci. Due to the current health status of Mr. Nguyen Chia, when he is lying down or he is uh, sleeping, if you compare with the uh, sitting position, uh, do you observe any difference when he uh, was lying down and he was sitting upright? We only really saw him while he was lying down. There was an effort to sit him up to examine him. Or when he was lying down, we never saw him lying down. Answer: We have never seen him lying down. We asked him to get up to examine him. Thank you. 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 Uh, you say that uh, your examination lasted for about two hours. Vous dites uh, que votre examen when you were conducting this examination, were he, were he lying down or he was uh, sitting upright when you were examining him? Couché ou assis? 
When we were taking his history and examining his mental state, he was lying down. For the physical examination, he moved as required for us to complete an adequate physical examination. Il était allongé et ensuite, pour la suite de l'examen, il s'est relevé. Thank you. Le coprocureur. Merci. If you look at the same report, particularly paragraph 9 of your report, you rapport, state that Mr. Nguyen Chier has a history of hypertension going back over 30 years. Plus de 30 ans. Can you clarify the uh, overall condition of hypertension? What is it like? Pouvez-vous donner des précisions sur l'hypertension? His high blood réponse. pressure is well controlled at present, as I've indicated in my report. It was 135 over 75, I think. 135, 130 over 75, both lying and standing, so his blood pressure at present is satisfactory. Balcon, thank you. Le coprocureur. And again, in the uh, same report, you also uh, stated rapport, that the vous blood pressure, Mr. Nunchi, is 130 over uh, 75, both when he was lying down and he was standing. Uh, this level of debout. blood pressure, how do you comment on this? Uh, is it uh, est -il de high de by, uh, by standard, or how, how would you comment on this? Élevée, it's a very satisfactory Réponse. blood pressure for a person of his age. Mm. Très satisfaisante pour quelqu'un de son âge. Thank you. Question. And uh, this is going to be my last uh, question concerning question. your uh, previous assessment of his uh, health status sta uh, starting from August uh, 2011 to date. And you have uh, produced uh, 2011, several reports, and the last report that you submitted to the trial chamber on the 20th of March 2013. March 2013. Throughout your examination of his health, uh, have you observed any change or deterioration or so concerning the overall health status of Mr. Nguyen as I've indicated, I think he is more frail than when I first saw him, but that is largely because of his inactivity. There is no significant sign of progression in his underlying heart, lung, or cerebrovascular problems. And his kidney function also on testing has remained reasonably stable. And problem renal semble stabilisé, c'est du moins ce que révèlent les tests. Thank you very much, Professor. Mr. President, I have no further question. I would like to now uh, cede the floor to Merci. my uh, esteemed colleague. Je laisse la parole à mon confrère. Le coprocureur international. Um, good morning. Uh, Mr. President, Bonjour, members of the bench, President. and uh, good morning to you, doctors. Uh, my name is Dale Lysak, and uh, I am one of the international prosecutors. Uh, I have a few areas where I have some very uh, short questions that I just want to clarify, and, and a couple of areas that I'll want to explore with you in a little more depth. Um, let me start with one of the short areas. Uh, it concerns uh, the issue of the, uh, the comparison of the uh, M MMSE test that was conducted last week uh, to the results of the one from February 2011. And you've already indicated to us that uh, the different results you don't consider to be clinically significant. Uh, but I wanted to clarify one other matter. Um, were either of you involved in administering uh, the test uh, that was conducted, the MS, MMSE test MMSE that was conducted in February 2011, 2011 or, or was this conducted by some other doctor outside your presence? Sans votre présence. 
No, this was conducted by another uh, doctor, um, and we were not present during that um, examination. Nous n'étions pas présents. And question. In regards uh, to your ability to compare the test results, Pour ce qui est the de capacité à report comparer that I have that was attached uh, to uh, uh, Dr. Annexé. Campbell, uh, doc attached to your um, second report that you filed à votre with the court que vous avez dated 26 of August 2011. The report that I have uh, that you reference uh, only contains the score 30 of 30. Um, my question is whether you saw any more detailed information, for example, the specific questions that were asked, the results of uh, answers that were given or results of the tests that allow you to tell us whether or not you can be certain the test was properly administered in February 2011. Le test a été effectué correctement. C'est un test standardisé. Les questions sont fixes. La réalisation de ce test ne doit pas poser problème, par conséquent. I understand that my question, Professor Campbell, is: Did you see the actual results of the test, or did you just see the test score? Est-ce que vous avez vu les résultats du test, ou bien est-ce que vous avez vu Le score obtenu à ce test. My memory is that I would have just have seen the test score. Je it was 30 out of 30. The person wouldn't have put any modification to the questions if they had modified the questions. Si les médecins avaient modifié les questions posées, ils l'auraient signalé. The reason I question. ask that, doctor, si je pose la question, is I docteur, recall that parce uh, que je one of the prior times you testified here, quand vous êtes venu you took issue passé, with the way that one person had administered the test. test. So the reason I'm asking you is simply si whether you have uh, done anything si to confirm whether or not the test was si properly administered in February 2011. No, I don't think so, but I can testify non, that it was pas, properly administered in March 2013. And this stage fait. shows no evidence of cognitive impairment. Stade -là, il pas de signe de uh, thank you, Doctor. I certainly wasn't question. questioning that. Uh, I simply wanted to make it question. very clear whether we Je have any basis si to compare or draw any conclusions from the different test results in February 2011, where you got 30 of 30 score, to the test result uh, that was obtained uh, last week, where he scored 28 of 30. Avec un score de 28 sur 30. No, I réponse. would certainly read no significance into that non, change in score. Je ne pense pas que ce changement de score soit significatif. Uh, thank you for, for clarifying Question. that. Merci um, pour cette précision. The second area that um, Deuxième point. I wanted to ask a, a very quick question to you is Sur concern, je veux vous concerns the uh, vision a uh, vision problem of des uh, Mr. Nunche. Uh, you've made a number of recommendations the possibility of documents being read to him disant, or exemple, the size of the documents lui être lus. Uh, vous avez fait, uh, fait des recommandations increased. sur la taille des documents um, qui pourraient être augmentés. My father happens to have uh, se trouve uh, que macular degeneration père and he uses a, a magnifying uh, class to help read uh, documents. I'm wondering whether the use of a magnifying lens of some sort is another option that the court could consider une autre uh, to assist que envisager la chambre in a reading documents. It's likely to be effective with cataracts, but it is something that could be tried. Ce n'est probablement pas efficace en cas de cataracte, mais c'est une option qui pourrait être essayée. Thank you, Professor Campbell. Um, Question. Let me turn now Merci to uh, an issue. Uh, you have. Uh, indicated already that in your examinations of Noon Chea, 
in particular with regard to his uh, cardiovascular disease or condition, uh, that there have not been any objective changes in his condition over the period that, that you have been examining him. Uh, I want to also uh, uh, go back, if you will, uh, to the examinations that were conducted of Nunchea uh, prior, to, prior to you uh, by Dr. Antoine Lafont. And am I correct um, that uh, both of you uh, reviewed Dr. Lafont's reports in rapport um, coming to Dr. your conclusions Lafont regarding Nunchea? Au moment de tirer vos propres conclusions sur Nunchea, est-ce le cas? Yes, I have reviewed his reports. Effectivement, j'ai examiné ses rapports. And uh, uh, Dr. Lafont, who is the director of Lafont interventional cardiology from the du service de uh, George Pompidou Hospital in Paris, Pompidou à Paris. Uh, conducted an initial examination of Nunchea in October de 2007, 2007. Uh, and subsequently re-examined him every Il six months uh, six through until 2010. Um, what I would like 2010. to do now is um, read to you a few excerpts from Dr. Lafont's report regarding Nunchea's cardiovascular condition uh, with the ultimate aim of seeking your opinion on whether there has been any significant change or deterioration in his cardiovascular condition since 2007 when Dr. Lafont examined him. And the first examination report from Dr. Lafont, which was dated the 20th of October 2007, and for the record this is document D24-7. Uh, in that report, Dr. Lafont found that Nunchea's blood pressure was 155 over 80, and that there was no functional cardiac symptoms or signs such as angina, dyspnea, or palpitation, and that after treatment, his blood pressure was reduced to 125 over 76. He concluded that Nunchea's hypertension was ancient. Uh, was the word that is used in his report or the English translation. Est le terme ancient qui est and dans he described his de son coronary illness as limited to an artery and stable in comparison to the data of the par coronography realized 12 years ago, justifying the continuation of a simple medical treatment. La poursuite d'un traitement médicamenteux And simple. in regards to a prognosis for Nunchea, uh, Dr. Lafont Le wrote, Lafont écrit quote, ce qui it is difficult to foretell the future, de but in light of this thorough checkup, à la lumière this patient de cette enjoys approfondie, at present a real stability of pathologies from which he suffers. De pathologies dont il the hypertension souffre. is treated, the coronary illness is remarkably stable remarkable since 12 stable. years. And the after effects ans, of the cerebral vascular accident are ancient. De AVC end of quote. Sont anciens. As I indicated, fin de uh, Dr. Lafont continued to dit, examine Dr. Lafont a uh, Nunchea every six months after that fait tous les six through 2010. Ce I will not read to you each of those 2010, reports. Uh, let me just make rapports. reference to one of them in June 11, 2009. Document B27 slash 1. D27 bar 1. And Dr. Lafont wrote, Ici, le quote, Lafont in practice, suit, dans the la patient's pratique, health condition is stable and there has been a general improvement. Et il y a eu une amélioration and générale. in the prognosis section, dans la he concluded, sur les prévisions, as il already conclut, explained, it is difficult indiqué, to predict the future, de prévoir but in light of the various medical examinations carried out in the past 18 months, the patient's mois, disorders are not only stable, ne sont pas but the last stable, medical examination outre, revealed an improvement in his general health condition. And Dr. Lafont confirmed Dr. Lafont in his other reports as well that there had been no change in condition. Uh, my, my question for you is Voici based on your review of Elle Dr. Lafont's reports and your examinations of Nunchea in 2011 and this month. 
Can you give us your opinion as to whether his cardiovascular condition has remained relatively stable since 2007 or whether there has been any deterioration or change in that condition since 2007? My examination is restricted to his history and he has no history of cardiac symptoms at present and to a physical examination and there is no change in physical examination. And Dr. Lafont used additional investigations, for example, echocardiography, which we have not used. If there have been subtle changes, they would show up on that. But given that he is asymptomatic at present, there is really no justification for those additional investigations. Is there any evidence then that there has been a, any deterioration in his cardiovascular disease uh, since 2007 when he was first arrested uh, and brought into detention at the court. There is no clinical evidence of deterioration. But but given the underlying disease, it is likely that there have been subtle progressions since then, but it's not, they are not resulting in any symptoms at present. What type of test would one need to administer to determine whether there, in fact, have been such subtle changes uh, that you just made reference to? Given that he has no symptoms, there are no tests that we would use. You could repeat the echocardiogram, but it wouldn't change management. And to reinvestigate the coronary arteries would be too invasive, given that there would be no therapeutic outcome from it. I'd like to turn now to the last Question. subject that I want to ask you about, which relates to your prognosis uh, that you gave prévisions. earlier um, and the general question of life life expectancy Avec la question de which is as you can imagine something that's been on uh, a lot of people's penser, minds here uh, lately um, first of all I just wanted to follow up Première on chose. Uh, the statement uh, that you gave in response to Dans le droit Judge de Cartwright's ce que vous avez question à la question de la juge Cartwright. And when you were asked regarding his prognosis, Vous avez été uh, one thing that you said, votre pronostic, one concern you expressed uh, related to the, uh, his susceptibility to what you called intercurrent illness. Le fait il était and I'm wondering if you could just explain what you meant comme vous by avez appelé, intercurrent -vous illness. Par intercurrent? An intercurrent illness is any illness that is not one of the existing chronic illnesses. For example, if he had an episode of influenza, he had another episode of acute bronchitis, if he had a bladder infection, then given his overall frailty, these intercurrent illnesses would have a significant effect on his well-being. They would affect him far more than they would affect you or me. And you mentioned something in response to my colleague's questions, which was the uh, importance of having a, uh, him having an influenza vaccine. Do you know whether or not he's been vac vaccinated for influenza? No, I don't. And uh, you stated at the end of your prognosis, um, first you en used the words limited and guarded, and then vous avez you les termes said, limité et prudent. Puis um, vous avez dit we have to consider whether we would be surprised si nous uh, if he was not alive si in six plus months, en vie dans six mois. and you said you would not. Vous avez dit que vous ne pas um, I'm wondering uh, if you could in view of the opinions that are expressed in your report that his various rapport, medical conditions are, have been stable, ces différents troubles uh, can you tell us um, what objective facts you base your statement uh, here or the six-month number 
pour uh, avancer ce chiffre de 6 mois question. en réponse à la question posée par la juge Cartwright. Yes, don't take the two, six months too literally. Ne prenez pas trop littéralement ces six mois. On ne peut pas faire de pronostic précis de cette situation. Ce que je dis, c'est qu'il est fragile. That there may be problems with intracranial illness or with his existing problems. And the question about the six months is one we commonly ask ourselves with people when we're determining the extent of investigation or the extent of treatment. Pose. He may well certainly be alive in six months and a year's time. It's impossible to say. Pour être bien être encore en vie dans six mois ou dans un an, c'est impossible à dire. Is is there a reason that you did not put the six month prognosis into your report? Pour laquelle vous n'avez pas indiqué ce pronostic de six mois dans votre rapport écrit? Again, I want to make clear that I'm not giving a six-month prognosis. My pronostic is not a pronostic of six months. May well be longer than that. Cela pourrait être plus long. I'm not in a position to say how long he will continue to survive. De dire pendant combien de temps il va continuer à vivre. But one has to realize that at 86, with underlying cardiovascular disease, cerebrovascular disease, underlying frailty, cardiovasculaire et avec une fragilité généralisée, la vie est précaire. Did you provide Nunchea with this prognosis or this opinion regarding the six-month period when you examined and consulted him? Lorsque vous l'avez examiné, lorsque vous l'avez consulté. No, that was not my role. I think we need to move on from that six months. It's not a prognosis. Ne restons pas sur ces six mois. Ce n'est pas mon pronostic. I will move on from and not mention the six months anymore. Let me ask you a more general question. Would your prognosis for him depend on whether or not he resumed physical activity and undertook some sort of rehabilitation plan? Would that affect your your assessment of his likelihood of surviving? Aurait une incidence sur votre pronostic quant à son espérance de vie? As we said in the report, he could undertake some physical activity. This would increase his chances of surviving further. Would increase his physiological reserve, which at present is diminished. But he, of course, would have to be willing to undertake it, and he may well not be. As we are talking about. Admittedly, a uncertain and difficult area, which is the prognosis of life expectancy. I wanted to ask you, as a expert in geriatrics, do you have some familiarity or understanding with the statistics or science of life expectancy and the use of life tables? Relative à l'espérance de vie et au gris chiffré. Sur l'espérance de vie. Yes, but they're not particularly useful when one comes down to the individual, especially with a number of comorbidities, as here. Une personne, notamment une personne qui, comme Nunchia, est touchée par différentes maladies. Mr. President, I'd like at this time to hand a couple of reports to the experts. Remettre aux experts certains rapports, notamment. A national vital statistics report issued by the CDC that contains a life table for the United States. And the second one, one closer to home for you, Dr. Campbell, are the life tables issued for New Zealand, issued by the Statistics New Zealand government. Agency. I have copies of these for the experts. I have copies of them for the parties and for the chamber itself too, if you wish to see the documents yourself.
president uh, uh, international co council for mr noon you may proceed uh, perhaps uh, the matter is straying far from the medical Mais report perhaps. Que cela, nous nous de thank you mr president um, Copé. Merci, i have president. to object to this um, presenting of documents that we are not aware of à la présentation de ces um, documents dont nous ne connaissions pas l'existence. Une partie, bien sûr, de la relevance de ces rapports en respect de notre client qui est un Cambodian national. Ce qui n'a rien à voir avec notre client qui est Cambodian, rien à voir avec les statistiques, pour l'Amérique du Nord, rien à voir avec les statistiques, 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 rien à Uh, Mais de toute façon, nous nous opposons à la présentation de ces documents par l'accusation. Mr. President, perhaps I can ask a few more general questions to the expert, which I think uh, will uh, amply demonstrate uh, why this information may be of use both to the experts and to the chamber in the decisions that it has to make. Les experts um, que pour la chambre dans la presse. And I, I appreciate uh, that uh, que prendra la chambre. your qualification about the six-month period, Donc but I hope you understand that that statement mois, is going to be picked up and viewed as rather significant. Que une um, telle and because of that, um, uh, I wish to ask you whether you, as a geriatrician, are vous, familiar uh, with the general or statistical expected life expectancy of an 86-year-old man uh, in New Zealand. Experts, uh, could you please hold on, counsel for Mr. Le Président, Nautier, veuillez attendre avant de répondre, Monsieur l'expert, la parole est à la défense. I have raised Maître Copé, like to... j'ai soumis une opposition, j'aimerais que la Chambre se prononce sur euh, mon objection. Le président. The objection concerning the presentation of the document and the current question by the co-prosecutor, which is more hypothetical regarding a case in New Zealand. L'accusation pose une question hypothétique Is sur des cas en Nouvelle-Zélande. Et c'est pourquoi la Chambre retient l'objection de la Défense vis-à-vis -vis de la présentation des documents. Qu'entend utiliser l'accusation La Chambre rejette la demande de documents. Et the experts are instructed not to respond to the question. Retient l'objection sur la question. C'est pourquoi elle donne maintenant instruction aux experts de ne pas répondre. Professor Campbell, um, since you threw out the six-month figure and indicated your view Campbell, to this chamber, vous avez dit à la chambre that you would not be surprised if he was not, if Noon Chea was not alive in six months. Uh, in providing that opinion, uh, did you take account 
of the typical life expectancies of persons of the, that age. Typical life expectancies don't apply to individuals. They're population-based. And I think we need to move away from that six months. That's it. That's a question we commonly ask ourselves about patients. Didn't apply particularly to Nuan Chia or his prognosis. Would I be surprised if he wasn't alive in six months? No. Would I be surprised if he was alive in six months? No. The president. Le president, the question is rather repetitive, and the experts uh, appear to have already responded to the question. And it répondre. appears to us that co prosecutor has no more questions. Counsel for Mr. Nguyen Jie, could you advise the chamber as to how much time Et would you need to make your final submission concerning the particular Mr. President, Your Honours, um, I'm doubting whether we will make submissions at all. Je ne sais pas um, si nous aurons des conclusions. If we do, they're going to be very short. Si nous en avons, s'agira d'une très courte intervention. The President, uh, Mr. Co-Prosecutor, could you also please advise the Chamber to the, uh, as to how much time would you need for the closing statement as Council may be brief on that? We can be very brief uh, as well, Your Honor. Um, we will uh, submit uh, in writing these documents for you. I respect your ruling. I will not pursue any matter of time, but we will submit these documents for your consideration. Uh, but in terms of in terms of argument, we can be very short as well. The President. What about lead co-lawyers uh, for the civil party? Would you wish to have some questions for the experts? If you do, how much time would you need? Uh, first, it's about time for questioning. And also, the chamber would like to know how much time would you need for the final words as well. Council Pekong, Mr. President, uh, co-lead lawyers for the civil party may need 25 minutes for question and answer, and we may need just very brief time for the second question you asked. The President, thank you very much indeed. It is now appropriate time for the land adjournment, although uh, we are now 10 minutes uh, I mean, it's 10 minutes past uh, 12. We may adjourn now, and the next session will be resumed by 1.30. And at the same time, the chamber also notes that uh, great progress has been made uh, in the, uh, during uh, the session. It is uh, more expeditious than we anticipated. Uh, security personnel are now instructed to bring Mr. Q Sompon from the detention facility to the courtroom before the next session resumes, so that uh, we can have his participation in the next uh, hearing as uh, relevant to the topic noted to the chamber this morning. And court officer is now instructed to assist uh, both the, the experts uh, and have uh, them come to the courtroom by one day. Sure.